Only those will benefit from this video who breathe. If you're breathing right now, then you need to watch this till the end. Because chances are you're making at least one of these three deadly breathing mistakes without even realizing it. I used to breathe wrong too. For years I took short, shallow breaths, gasped through my mouth, and never thought twice about how I was inhaling and exhaling. Then I discovered something shocking. Most of us are breathing in ways that silently drain our energy, spike our stress levels, and even weaken our immune systems over time. What's worse? Almost nobody talks about it. Today, that changes. I'm going to walk you through the three biggest breathing mistakes, explain why they're harming you, and, most importantly, show you exactly how to fix them. By the end of this video, you'll never take a breath for granted again. Mistake number one, mouth breathing, the silent health killer. Let's start with the most obvious yet overlooked mistake, mouth breathing. Right now, check in with yourself. Are your lips parted? Is air flowing in and out through your mouth? If so, you're making mistake number one, and it's costing you far more than you realize. Your nose is one of nature's most sophisticated breathing devices. It's designed with tiny hairs called cilia that filter out dust, allergens, and bacteria before they reach your lungs. The nasal passages warm and humidify incoming air to match your body temperature, making it easier for your lungs to process. But perhaps most importantly, your sinuses produce nitric oxide, a miraculous molecule that boosts oxygen absorption by up to 20% by dilating your blood vessels. When you bypass all of this by breathing through your mouth, you're essentially choosing the worst possible air intake system. Mouth breathing delivers cold, unfiltered air straight to your lungs, forcing them to work harder. Without nitric oxide, your blood vessels constrict, reducing oxygen delivery to your brain and muscles. This is why mouth breathers often feel chronically fatigued no matter how much they sleep. The consequences extend far beyond just feeling tired. Chronic mouth breathing leads to dry mouth, which allows harmful bacteria to thrive, causing bad breath and increasing tooth decay. It changes the structure of your face over time, particularly in children, leading to narrower jaws and crowded teeth. At night, mouth breathing is the primary cause of snoring and sleep apnea. Conditions that prevent deep, restorative sleep and leave you exhausted the next day. The solution is simple but requires conscious effort. Nasal breathing. Start by becoming aware of your breathing patterns throughout the day. Set reminders to check if your mouth is closed. When exercising, resist the urge to gasp through your mouth. Your body will adapt to nasal breathing with practice. At night, Try specialized mouth tape designed for breathing or sleep with a chin strap to encourage nasal breathing. Here's a simple exercise to retrain yourself. Sit comfortably with your mouth closed. Place one hand on your belly and breathe in slowly through your nose for four seconds. Hold for two seconds. Then exhale through your nose for six seconds. Repeat this for five minutes daily. Within weeks, you'll notice improved energy, better sleep, and even enhanced athletic performance as your body learns to use oxygen more efficiently. Mistake number two, chest breathing, why you're starving your body of oxygen. Now let's examine the second critical mistake, chest breathing. Take another breath right now and notice. Does your chest rise while your stomach stays flat? If so, you're only using a fraction of your lung capacity and your body is paying the price. Proper breathing engages the diaphragm, a dome-shaped muscle beneath your lungs. When you inhale deeply, this muscle contracts and flattens downward, creating space for your lungs to expand fully. This is why your belly appears to push outward. It's not air filling your stomach, but your diaphragm moving down to allow complete lung expansion. The lower lobes of your lungs contain the most efficient air sacs for oxygen exchange, 
yet most people never use them fully. Shallow chest breathing is an epidemic in our stressed, sedentary society. It keeps us in a constant state of low-grade fight-or-flight response, as the body interprets shallow breaths as a sign of danger. Over time, this weakens the diaphragm muscle, reduces lung capacity, and creates a vicious cycle where breathing becomes increasingly inefficient. The consequences are profound. Restricted oxygen intake means your cells are perpetually underfueled, leading to chronic fatigue. Poor diaphragm engagement means your lymphatic system, crucial for detoxification and immunity, doesn't get the massage it needs from deep breathing. Perhaps most damaging, shallow breathing maintains low-level stress by signaling your nervous system that you're in constant danger. The solution is diaphragmatic breathing, sometimes called belly breathing. Here's how to do it properly. Lie on your back with knees bent or sit upright with one hand on your chest and one on your belly. Inhale slowly through your nose, focusing on making the hand on your belly rise while the hand on your chest stays relatively still. Exhale fully, feeling your belly sink back down. This engages your diaphragm fully and ensures complete oxygen exchange. Practice this for five to 10 minutes daily. Over time, it will become automatic. You'll notice immediate benefits like reduced stress, better digestion, as the diaphragm massages internal organs, and improved posture, as chest muscles relax. Long term, you'll increase your lung capacity, enhance oxygen delivery, and break the cycle of chronic stress breathing. Mistake number three, overbreathing, the hidden cause of stress. The third mistake is perhaps the most counterintuitive, overbreathing. In our fast-paced world, many of us breathe too quickly, taking more breaths than our bodies actually need. This disrupts the critical balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide in our bloodstream. While we think of oxygen as the star of breathing, Carbon dioxide plays an equally vital role. It helps release oxygen from your blood into your cells, a process called the Bohr effect. When you breathe too fast, you exhale too much CO2, making it harder for your cells to get the oxygen they need. This condition, called hypocapnia, triggers anxiety, dizziness, and even muscle cramps. It's why people often panic during hyperventilation, their cells are literally starving for oxygen, despite taking in more air. The solution? Slow, controlled breathing. Try the 478 method. Inhale for 4 seconds, hold for 7, exhale for 8. This simple rhythm balances CO2 levels, activates your parasympathetic nervous system, and can calm your mind in minutes. Want to dive deeper? We've got dedicated videos on this channel exploring the 478 technique, box breathing, and other science-backed methods to master your breath. Check them out after this. These three breathing mistakes, mouth breathing, chest breathing, and over breathing, are silently undermining your health every minute of every day. But now you have the tools to change that. Start with just one correction today. Maybe it's closing your mouth or placing a hand on your belly to check your breathing. Small changes, practiced consistently, lead to profound transformations in how you feel and function. Your breath is the bridge between your conscious and unconscious, between your mind and body. Master it, and you master your health at the most fundamental level. Take that first deep, diaphragmatic breath through your nose right now, your future self will thank you. Before you go, I want to sincerely thank you for choosing this video and investing this time in your health. Breathing is something we do over 20,000 times a day, yet most of us never stop to think about how we're doing it. By watching till the end, you've already taken the first step toward better energy, less stress, and a healthier body. That's something to be proud of. If this video helped you, do me a small favor. Hit the like button.
It helps others discover this life-changing information. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. Trust me, almost everyone does. Now take one more deep breath with me. In through the nose and out. Feel the difference? That's the power of breathing, right? Until next time, keep breathing well and living better. I'll see you in the next video.